Hello, welcome back to Cooking with Yingling. My name is Brent Quirks. I'm Vice President of Culinary Development for All In Foods. We are the group that's responsible for all the sauces for Yingling, spices, and a few special things yet to come. Today I think we're going to start with making a quick chili. This is kind of a, in R&D right now, so this is a little something special. This is towards the middle of this series, so we think we're going to show you something special. So what lies in here is extremely special. What this is going to end up to be is one of those little chili packets that you buy in the store. You just buy the meat, you throw the meat in and hit it. I'm going to show you how to do that real quickly. And then the, the trick is that we get to use yingling to deglaze with it. But that's, really, you know, that's kind of awesome for tailgating and so forth. You'll be the only person out there that has real beer chili. To get it started, we decided to do a little different. You can certainly use beef. You can use turkey. You can use pork, whatever kind of strikes your fancy. Today, we decided to use turkey. A little something different for as we tailgate. So all we're going to do is take one pound, just pop that in the, in the pot there. And as I start to cook, you'll see throughout the series that if it's not smoking, it's not cooking. And, you know, I hold down the executive chef position in Nemeco and have cooked professionally for 25 years now. So I find it important to kind of cook correctly. So you got to hear that noise. You gotta, you gotta know that you're really kind of searing this meat directly. We're just gonna get it in there. It's gonna be real quick. You can see it right there. Stir quickly. Now this comes together. All we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for this meat to cook complete. We're gonna kind of beat it up like you were making. So it, so it kind of breaks up into chili sized fragments. The neat thing about this recipe is really all you need is two things. Thing number one is a, 20, a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Generally, the way they're sold everywhere is kind of a very common pack, so we can get the, the tomatoes of your choice. Doesn't really matter what kind. The other thing is we need 32 ounces of kidney beans. So you can get these in two 16 ounce cans or one 28 ounce can. We decided to go with the 28. You know, bigger is better. You know how hard it is for boys. If you take a look in here, you can kind of see how this is kind of caramelizing nicely, with a nice color. And we're just going to let that break up and like, this chili will probably start to finish maybe three and a half minutes. Now we got this now cooked now. You want to keep it small enough so it fits on the spoon. This is where we take the magic chili powder and just pour it right in there. This will come in a packet, you'll just dip the packet over and you can see how it covers the meat. We'll start to get that chili look. Now what you want to do is you want to saute this just for a couple of seconds. You don't want to burn those spices, but you want to give that spice a little heat, which will open up the oils, which will make it very flavorful. Then you take your yingling, and you pour it right in on top. You can see the pan's nice and hot, the yingling's going to be glazed. That's going to cook all the alcohol off, which will make this fine for your family. There's no problem. You can see how that, that's boiling right up. Alcohol comes out. And we're well on our way to chili, so all we do next then is add that can of tomatoes we talked about. Goes right in. You don't have to stir yet. The beans we talked about. 28 ounces of tomatoes, 32 ounces of beans. And you can see how this is gonna you can see how it's starting to thicken. In this recipe, I took the time to put all the ingredients of a chili, but also a little bit of thickener in there. So as this cooks, it'll just get thicker and thicker and be nice chili consistency. You can see now it's well on its way. We just take this, simmer for three or four minutes. You can simmer it for an hour and a half. It's only going to get better. It'll be very edible, very pretty much right perfect after three or four minutes. It's meant to be a quick, easy recipe that you can all do at home. So we let that simmer just for a second. You can certainly see in there now how we're, we're a nice, meaty, full of beans, tomatoes. You can certainly add scallions to this. You can hit it with a little garlic. You can hit it with a little cayenne pepper if you like it hotter. This is going to be, there's two varieties. There's a mild and a hot. If you like it hotter than hot, you can certainly add other ingredients. Some people like mushrooms. Some people like peppers. All that could go right in there during that saute process. Add the spice. Add the beer, beans, tomatoes. you got your own personal chili. What we're going to do now is just go ahead and take this chili. And you can see how quick that is. I mean, it's kind of ready to go. We're just... We were on the back, I mean, I've made this several times on the, on the back of my truck tailgate. And bada bing, we're ready to go. Kind of have a nice chili. I need maybe a couple croutons on there. 
a little bit of scallion, and you have Yingling Chili. Thanks so much for joining us today at Yingling Brewery, right in Brewery Central here. Thank you very much for joining myself and my partner Danny Scott behind the camera. We'll see you next time on Cooking with Yingling.